Hey y'all, I got another Dollar Tree haul. Let me show y'all what I got at Dollar Tree. I got one of these dish racks. I've seen these folks do it with it, do it on a dime, and all them YouTubers uh, doing this. And I think I want to put my pots in here. See how it worked with the up under the cabinet? Cause we got a short shelf. And then we got the bottom part. So I want to see if this going to work. So I just bought one. And see how that's going to do. I'm going to be like Aunt Teresa. And y'all. Let me show y'all. <coughs> Look at this. They had some cute little Easter rugs. They had the ones that I had with the bunnies that Aunt Teresa gave me. But they had this. I think I'm going to put this outside. And I got two of these. I think this is so cute. I don't even like her neck no more. And um, I say floor mat. I want to see if this is slippery, cause uh, I have a mat on the floor and the thing keeps sliding. So yeah. And then I got, I got these little eggs. These are gonna be my decorative eggs. I like it because it looks like it has like scales on them. So I don't think I have any any of these. If I probably do, I don't know where they at. And y'all, then I got this. I'm going to try this shelf liner and maybe hot glue it or lay it on the rug or whatever I'm going to do to see if it'll work on the floor. So that was, that was why I went in Dollar Tree to get this. Because if this is non- what is it? Not, yeah, non-slip. If I could do a non-slip with this, maybe I could do it on the floor. So I think I'm gonna try that. And then, as I was walking, I saw this. And you see, it's a non-slip rug underlay. So I bought two of these, and this one, it's 18 inches by 28 inches. And I know that rug is, uh, I don't know what size the rug is, but this is a whole lot bigger than that rug. So I'm going to see which one does better. So that's why. So when I get through doing this, I'm going to go in the kitchen and we're going to see which one does better. And whichever one does the best, I'm going to probably hot glue it to the rug or whatever so and i'm gonna bring i'm gonna bring y'all along to to see <laughs> which one does the best and then i got this it's an ice cube tray i thought this was so cute maybe i can use this for ice cubes or maybe not or i might be like joanne and use it with my crafts because look the bottom one is a girl bunny, and the other side is boy bunnies. So I think that is so cute. And they had a big one with a bunny face on it. It was really big, so I thought that was cute. And then they had a, another one like this that was just the bunny butt and his feet. So I didn't know which one to get, so I just picked this one. Because I don't know what I'm going to do with this, y'all. But I think it's cute. So I might do some ice. And I might see if I can do some crafts with this. But yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go in the kitchen. And we're gonna uh we're gonna have to test this out and see which one does the best. And whichever one does the best, it's gonna either be hot glue if it needs be, if it needs to, on there or what. So that's what we're gonna go do. So I'm going to see y'all in a few seconds. So let's do this little, what is it, DIY? <laughs> All right, y'all. I got both of them on the floor. And y'all see how easy. See how easy. They do have a little, a little bit of, um, kind of like a little grip. And they come with other floor mats other than that. See how they move? 
I don't need to be walking on this in this mess. Slip and fall. Well, I don't need to slip and fall or nobody else slip and fall. So you see how, how I do. So I'm going to go and put the little things up under it, uh, cut a piece, and then I'm going to see what it do. All right, y'all. This is the measurements. Oh, where is that? The measurements for both of the mats is the same size. It's 15.7 inches by 23.7. Yeah, they about to they the same. So I'm gonna try this first and see how I do. And this is the shelf aligners. So I got my mat on the table. Let's see. See how this do. some scissors. Okay. Can I see a little piece? I need a little bit more, uh, a little piece. But you know what? Before I sit up there and cut another little piece, let's see how this do on the floor before I cut this extra little piece. Cause if it don't do right, I'm not gonna cut all this stuff. But yeah, let's go, let's go to, let's go to the, uh, to the floor. All right, I'm gonna put it on the floor. Okay, all right. All right, you know what, I might not have to I might not have to high glue it. I'll probably just put a little strip down there. See? It's under there. Yeah, and I'm I'm doing it. So you know what? The the shelf liner, it do work. Hmm. Alright. I might use that shelf liner because I think you get more with that shelf liner. But you know what? Hmm. So y'all, just in case, y'all see the chef line of work. Just in case if y'all, if you don't know, now you know. All right, y'all, let's do this. This right here, non-slip rug underlay. Let's try that one. And let's see. Okay, see this one is about this big. And see this one, you have to get, you can use this one per rug. See, I mean, you have to cut this piece off and that piece off. Well, you got all this shelf liner right here and you can probably cut one strip and probably put it in the middle of the rug and it won't budge see but that's all right though i did buy two so let's cut this we're gonna cut this off and we're gonna try and see what this be like let's move this out the way because uh if you got multiple rugs, depending on how many rugs you got, that means you have to buy one of these per rug. And because Dollar Tree is a dollar twenty-five now, oh yeah, do y'all still see? Y'all still see this mess that's good rubbed on my forehead? I forgot to rub that mess off. But anyways. 
if y'all have about four or five rugs, or how many rugs, you got to buy one of these per rug. Now I'm going to have to sweep, sweep stuff up off the floor. Because you're sitting up here cutting it. Tired of cutting it, so we're gonna see how this do. All right, it's on the floor. Let's see. See, I didn't do that little twist and turn like I did with that one. Yeah, but it's not, it's not doing. But you know what it is? Kind of twisting, and you can see the. Underlay. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have twisted the other one too. Cause see now you can see. Hmm. You know what? I think the shelf line is better. Look. Tell me what y'all think. Which one is better? Yeah. Cause see this one. You got to do all that cutting and all that other stuff. And don't nobody want to see if you got anything up under your rug to keep it from not being slippery. So, I think the chef liner's better. So, it's nice to sit here and try to do this little what if. Uh, I wouldn't say a DIY, but yeah. But you know what? I probably will have to hot glue this up under the rug so when i get ready and put this down for easter to decorate for easter i'll probably have to hot glue it and make sure and you know cut all the edge, edge cut all the edges off okay so i will let y'all know what i used when i put my rugs down and i will show y'all when i decorate for easter so I will see y'all in another video. Bye.